Starting back up on the can't touch iron challenge. This time, I think I'm going to try and get, um, currently I think of two fairy fountains out of the technically five, because the horse god counts, and one of the divine beasts. I was going to head to, hmm, what's the best warp point to start for this? Probably, hmm, here I guess. Um, I want to try and get the Ravia's clan hood from Farron and then head over to Gerudo, hopefully. We we might not be able to make enough rupees to actually do all of Gerudo because the vice that's like forget about six hundred or eight hundred and then there's but but there is another fairy out by there. And since the dragon bone weapons and the radiant set are actually going to be some of our best stuff, we do just kind of need to get to Gerudo in general. This is nowhere near as convenient as I hoped it was. Yeah, you know, it's just our. Because we need to get to the other side of these cliffs to get into the jungle. Because I remember exactly where Ravia's hood is, and since we can't use the climbing set, and there are a lot of cliffs on the way to Gerudo, I would love to grab this first. Also on the way to Gerudo, we're probably going to grab the Island Lobster shirt, because that... Ooh, yeah, that's kind of perfect. Because that, that's a hot spring up on that mountain, I think, um, is a heat protection, so we won't have to worry about potency tears with our cooling elixirs as much. All very good things. What is that sound? What was happening below me? Just said, oh, is that? Huh. I think I that briefly for a second woke up and that and got out of range from a palace. Okay. Mm. Okay, that did not work properly. That's fine. Just want to get over this ridge, damn it. Almost there. Dawn peaks in view. This is very high up on a ridge for a water buffalo. You good there, bud? But, ooh, that's a neat grotto in there. Skirt around the edge, see if there's actually anything valuable. Mm, not looking like too much. In fact, that looks kind of like it's got some danger mud. And there's probably a Korok in there, but these ridges. Can I get up over them? <laughs> it's not working. Trying not to cough too loud either. So I'm as sure as I can be that the rainforest is just here. Yeah, that's, that, that's where Farron is, right? Ooh! I've stumbled upon the trio of Hinox. 
See, the problem is with the Hinox is that they use enough weapons to defeat that the fact they give you weapons as prizes is necessary so that you're not lacking everything afterwards. But these guys don't have anything I can use. So there's kind of no point. Okay, I don't know what that extra low grumble that came through was, but there's probably something trying to kill me, so I'm not gonna fuck with it. Okay. Do wanna try to find a horse, though? You can get a horse on the way to Gerudo as well, because while we actually um, the way I split all the armor up kind of does make the basic stable side oh, a bit of a no-go, hilariously. Um, the, uh, words, words, words. The armor that goes with the white horse, the special royal set, you bring the horse to the stable and talk to the dude and it, the horse auto gets the armor as you tame it basically that and that's like right next to and even if i'm not gonna be that ridiculous i see the rainforest Ooh. um the saddle that makes the horse able to teleport is like right next to that and that's fine to use, and that's still a... I need to be able to change the saddle right away after I tame it. Even if the time it takes to change it does just count as obligation time. And all, all the other saddles are right, right all next to each other. Okay. Wait. Cass in the rainforest... This is probably the needs to be blown up with lightning shrine, right? I have a couple things that can be zappy zap. This spear is going to be sacrificed for quite a fun cause. Okay, I like this quest. <clears throat> Very impressive. Not many could make it up here in such rain. Uh, yes, that's because I approached from the side of the mountain that wasn't raining. <laughs> well, worn travelers such as myself, excuse me, I'm like, what, a week old at this point? <laughs> Can't possibly look that beat up. Sing the songbird, man. Lost <laughs> you. Yes, I need to blow things up with lightning on purpose. Mm. Now, you can technically solve this in... But if you have lightning immune armor, this is really easy. And... If you have Mifa's Grace activated, it's all you can also just kind of let it use itself. But otherwise, you can just drop a weapon there. You can just there's just enough of a metal tip on this little traveler's spear. Zappy zap zap zap. Yeah. That's fun. I like this quest. It's a good quest. So I just always love hearing Cass's music. It's good music. I I realize I say it's good music with like most of the music in the game, but like it's true though. <laughs> and if I'm getting distracted by the music because I'm enjoying it, I'm gonna say so. <laughs> Kick the metal chest open. <laughs> oh! I 
shouldn't have. Wait, actually load? That auto-saved before I opened the chest. I can't use this armor, so I don't actually want it in my inventory. That was a fun quest, but I'm not going to take this armor. As cool and as useful as lightning resist is, the rubber suit covered metal buckles is not allowed for my Iron Fae and Iron Burns thing. I've, I, yeah, no, that is just. We cannot coat ourselves in deeply unnatural materials like that, we would die. normal playthrough I would have been like oh fuck yeah we got this this is so useful <laughs> for now we just take the spirit orb we wandered into and proceed because the spirit of courage is went that way yeah so it's really easy to locate the spirit of courage because it is Fuck ass big dragon statue. Oh, do not want to get swept down this waterfall. Do not want to get swept down this waterfall. It is going to happen. Is this the waterfall with something behind it at least? No. Of course not. Ooh. We have fallen into the zone full of ruins, though. That's neat. Ooh, that is some loud wind. Wait. Oh! Frosh? Oh, yes! Oh, hi, Frosh! If we get- Oh! We're going to the Spring of Courage anyway! If we can get a scale on the way, that's the free spirit orb. Perfect! Can't get too close, though, because Frosh is zappy! I have been surprise greeted by Frosh while swimming these waterfalls so many times. And electrified bathtubs! Very dangerous! Frosh's scale, hell yeah. Ah, uh, we've been spotted. We can't use that. What is? Did you see that? The, all the Octorox just went up into the sky instead of lifting it up. What? What cut the rope? Did Roche passing by cut the ropes? I didn't know that could happen like that. Oh my god, I don't have anything equipped because I sacrificed my weapon. You'd think I'd remember something like that. Oh! And we can't actually use that either. Oh, I suppose that was technically efficient. What we do want is the arrows that guy had. Because we've been arrow shortage problems this whole time. And I saw cluster chests there. We should cry on us that. Get some. Probably just gems. Seeing as. I'm meant to be on the high ground, and all that stuff with Feroche took us to. The low point of the forest. It's worth it, but that does mean we'll have to go around in a slightly different direction. That's not useful. Okay, what about this one? Anything good? Yes! 
That is excellent, in fact. And that is also excellent. Cool. Uh, what's the best way out of these mangroves, though? Eh, probably just up the mangrove, yeah. Don't snipe me, Mr. Poco. Do not notice me. I am not in your line of sight. I'm not. You do not see me. I'm not the droid you're looking for. I want to live should be able to stand on the curve of this and get some stamina back to get up the other half please okay. yes just enough time oh and then the crackle of the electric arrow as he draws his bow I'm sure glad he had an elemental arrow and not a normal one in that case because if it hadn't made the noise, he might have had a better chance of sniping me. He still does, but. Ah, stable. Ooh! Stable also means shrine, which also means spirit. Whoa! King! What did I do? <gasps> Why was that guy chasing so long? Usually they just take to run past and you only have to dodge once. Right. Any flint? Actually, as I'm going any flint, how much flint do I have? Because I do need, I will need to give away 10 when I get to Gerudo Town. Okay, can't actually use that. Right, 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 right. Beetle, what do you have at this table? Uh, your arrow prices are too expensive. I'll get them next time I'm in a town. Jeez. Okay. Right, shrine's over here. Stable shrines. Like, of all the stables, this is arguably the one that, whose shrine is easiest to miss. In a nice cave. There are there just aren't that many caves in Breath of the Wild, but this is a this is one of the and that's one of the smaller ones. There's a couple big ones as well, but like just barely any. I hope there's lots of good caves in Tears of the Kingdom. They've already shown in the little bits of trailers we've seen that we'll at least get some new caves. Ooh! Stasis puzzle time. You know what? I don't want to spend this much time on this. I really don't. I know I'm probably missing something obvious. But I just don't care that much. We're at three out of four spirit orbs and headed toward a fourth anyway. There are a lot of shrines. I need to know when to cut when to cut my losses with annoying shrines. Because ones where you just gotta remember the very specific trick to it. Yeah, I'm not going to sit here till I remember. There's no point. And make a point of not actually um, looking things up was kind of a thing that was trying to be done anyway. That You're charging that for Durian? I'm offended. Those things literally grow on all of the trees around here, my dude. How dare you scalp prices like that? You're worse than Beetle. Actually, no. No one's worse than Beetle. Beetle is... I think Beetle 
my... Beano keeps re is one of the ones that keeps reincarnating. And he is just like the OG merchant. But also, he's not necessarily always great about it. And the fucker might have invented capitalism and we might have to shame him for it. Hard to say. What? What? Okay. I didn't even see the fake chest attached to that after rock. Okay. I'm not supposed to have frogs. How do I have so many frogs? I must have picked these up mostly by accident. Be free! <laughs> Ooh, radish! Okay, yeah. I need to go... the opposite direction. Because I need to hit that tower and get the damn map so that I can actually double check where I am without guessing based on memorization. Also, I think there's a little Lionel up here, so gotta be sneaky. Nope, not a Lionel. Arguably works. We do have spear. Hold the metal far away and stab the demon because we have to. Okay. What? Really? This is not a good time for peace. Oh, that's actually tearing through decently fast. Oh, those hearts, though. Temporary heart. Yes, yes, yes. Do not change the weather, bitch. You're about to, though. But, you know what? I can easily shoot you while you try. It'll revert when you're dead. Ooh. Hit a lot of keys in the process. Ooh. Got up. Change weapons carefully back and forth now during all this. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? This is gonna cost a lot of arrows, but he's guarding the tower, so we don't have a choice. Okay. And switch away from that. And switch back. No, can't switch back. Need to wait a sec still, okay? And. Die, 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 die! Okay! God damn it! Frickin' Liz Rose. Okay. Now. These almost always have. What? The keys were under that? How? And there's not even a chest under there. Boo. There's probably a chest under one of these other ones, though. I don't have enough octo balloons to check them all. Boo. I guess I don't get to know. I will probably. Do I have stamina food, right? Yes. I'll probably have to eat it to get to the top of this. But the Spirit of Courage just 
isn't that far from the tower either. We're actually making decently good time across the map considering how I started by cutting over some of the worst rough terrain possible. And you can see from where they start putting the, bo the boost on the tower roughly how much stamina they think you might have by the point you get here. But also, like, there are definitely paths around the map that are easier paths and harder paths, and it's kind of hard to tell what's what ahead of time. Where it's like, yeah, this is very easy to wander in directions that you just don't run into good equipment, or you just hit all the worst enemies first or something. And it's also possible to do the exact opposite, of course, and just be completely overpowered right off the bat. It's just... Which direction do I go first on a new playthrough gives a lot of replay value, honestly. This game just has... Breath of the Wild has way more replay value than other Zelda games because of open worldness, obviously. And it's just great. Because there's so much stuff in the game that you don't even get to use it all on an initial playthrough anyway. Just like, for example, there's, um, both the Zora and Rito weapons are both really only useful if you go to their places first. Though for me, actually, I'm kind of deliberately saving the Rito till later on so that the I have a couple of Divine Beasts cleared first and all the chests scale the Rito pose to the high tier ones because those are just going to be our best bows in general. Wait. <sighs> That's not actually where I thought the map zone split. I guess I'm gonna take these durian things, alright? <laughs> okay. And. That's a lot of chests and a lot of arrows, but I will have to dive to get them. And. Yeah, because the lake's up here. So, it's not quite as close to the spring as I thought, but still pretty damn close. I hear the thundery rumble starting up again. Ooh, more radishes. Luckily, we are headed to one of the lower points in the forest. It's just faster to stay on the high ground at first and then dip down later. Ores. Any good ones? Yes, actually. Ooh. Topaz. Topaz, very nice. And no, there's. I think that's where the Stalmox lives, I want to say. Not a particularly great place to visit. This is the Korok. This is the Korok. It's a weird place for a lone liftable rock, so it must be a Korok. That's just how Koroks be. It smells of Korok. <laughs> There are good thunder rumbles, though. This game is just kind of relaxing to exist in. Fairly 
Woods might be kind of deadly, but I love them. Getting close. Oh yeah, we're. I see zone I room. So we are very close. Why did you go for the swan dive? I would have made that. Think you're you're trigger happy with the swan dive? Uh, swan dive is an auto jump function. Cat. Never entirely sure how to make sure it doesn't activate. Durian. Durian. Durians on radishes are best food. Well, in the first half of the game. Extra hearts kind of become a... Full heals become more useful than trying to cook specific meals to get high heart rates. Once you have a lot of hearts, but... Not bird noise I hear often. Okay. Just gotta try not to get hit by lightning on the way to the spring. I'd be very surprised I haven't run face first into a bunch of Zolfos yet. Uh, how has that not happened? This place is crawling with them. Oh! Speak of! Okay! Okay! Camouflaged in the grass with fucking claymores. Okay. Mm. I was wondering why it was so calm for so long. Okay. And, um. I'm glad I had fairy. See, the thing is. With about electrical Zolfos are. They've got an AoE bubble of just active static field around them whenever it's raining. Meaning, I can't get into melee range. I can kind of only melee right now, properly. Just gotta make sure I'm still headed roughly north. Because I, it is just at the mouth of the river, after all. Wildlife be loud. Those Lizolfos might spot me and snipe me from the other side of the river. I really, really hope they don't. I don't have any more speed food. I wish I'd made more total speed food. I need to make more food soon. So that I can zoom better. Actually, I need to find some fireflies so I can get my night speed up on this outfit. Kind of forgot to do that. First thing I did this stream was warp out of the place full of fireflies that I was standing in while the sun was setting. I probably could have loitered and gotten some. But, oh well. Okay. Don't want to get sniped. Because the thing is about the Zolfos here are they're almost all alone or two or three of them in stealthy positions. There aren't very many monster camps out here. With the exception, of course, of this lovely promenade up here, actually. Uh, it's fucking crawling with archers. Now what I'm gonna hope 
is that there's enough of them that take a sec to catch on to what's going on. Because I have mad stealth, so they're repeatedly losing track of where I am. But, at the same time, ouch, 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 those arrows, they be zappy. Yeah, I am very low on food. Where's the nearest archer? That guy spotted me, that's not great. Okay. Really? Just enough of a ridge on this. We need to probably take those two out with Frenic, actually. Does this have enough range to... If I get a headshot knocking off the pillar, that makes everything safer, at least. Okay, I'm using this one. Just no idea what's happened. Actually, I probably shouldn't even use that arrow. Okay. Damn! Those sentries have a long line of sight. But if I... There we go. And... There's good bows there that I do actually want, but... These guys have all spotted me, which sucks. If I can get up around the ridge out of their line of sight for even a moment for them to stop firing, though, that'd be lovely. So they lose track of me for even a sec. Alright. Okay, I'm not doing this core off because it's actually really annoying. Off your birch and ah shit that didn't actually work. You know what? You know what? We're 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 gonna we're gonna uh, maybe remember that our bows are lower tier than we think they are, and we keep forgetting. That this is a power 14 bow. And that 14s can't even two shots. Yeah, but I think it's. I think it's inside this claw? Yeah. It's inside one of the two claws. Did I really climb up to the wrong one? Shit. Yeah. Woo! Oh, that's a silver! Shit! Oh, that's two silvers! Shit! Okay. It's inside the other hand, then, I guess? It's inside one of the two hands. The good thing about the stealth suit is, even if they do spot me, something? Cause I know... Well, let's kill that guy! Probably dropped arrows. I don't have... I tested that I didn't have to get the... Uh, Testing the uh, you don't have to get the um, task first for the chest to appear thing. I know I did, and I 
know that Majora's Mask I could get without hitting that. And, oh god, why are there so, there are so many silvers already? Alrighty, be the Divine Beast. Of course there are silvers everywhere. Why am I surprised by this? Oh, I just, I just didn't see that. That's just really well hidden. So the reason Magnesis makes things glow. Okay. Hell yeah. And now... We can sacrifice, at this point, not even that much, um, armor and a little bit of stealth for a significant climb increase speed, but only if we go diagonally, but like, oh, it's so good. Also, it's just fun. It's good aesthetics. I like these aesthetics. Um, right, duh. Can't forget the shrine in here. Now that everything's calm. And I'm not dodging anything but this mob one. Who. Uh, I want his club. I'm going to take his club. And is this anything useful? Oh! Yes, yes it is! Okay. And... Yes. Yes. Ferocious scale. Yes. Indeed. Oh, down to only one fairy. That's bad. Here you go, Alia. Ferocious scale. Want that spirit orb? Want that spirit orb indeed. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Of the Sinu Shrine. Useless! Okay. We just want the orb. We just want the orb for the more stamina, please. Because more stamina means we can glide for longer and jump up taller cliffs and shit. That's stupid important. Also, we got a bunch of durians. We'll also make up for the lack of hearts by giving us temporary hearts anyway. And the statue's right here, so it's super convenient. Right, right, dog. Which one? Right, it's the front. Yes. Hi, hi there. Give me the stamina. Yeah. Give. Hey, guys. Well, it'd be silly if I didn't see how much Sneak Strike does with this. Let's see. Just how much does it hurt? Oh! That's not good. That's not much. 
Well, don't want to have to run from them. as well sneak chain. Moblin ports sell good anyway. They're good for potion. Their guts are good for potions and their horns are good for selling. <laughs> I love uh, Max Stealth and just sneak chaining. I'm wondering, so, uh, so I'll bring back up a theory I was kind of talking about when, oh, that's, that's, um, not anger these friends. Hi, Silvers. What? What? I didn't press that part of the D-pad. Okay, that's just daddly daddle. Do you know what? Let's just go to Gerudo from the plateau. And the plateau has fireflies tonight, so we might be able to nab a few on the way too. Yes. But before we head out, there's a Korok in our bed, so let's poke it. Very interesting place to hang out, little Korok. Very interesting indeed. But we need to get our ass to the desert pretty soon here. Pluto. Oh, it's d just about sunrise and came. We won't get any fireflies. There's no. That's not gonna happen, but. We can. Get, um. Probably a couple Koroks on the way across here, because I know I missed um, a Magnesis one along this ridge, but anyone want to go over there? Nah, we leave those guys alone. But those, I see watchtowers over there, they'll drop arrows. We definitely want those. Ooh. It's raining again? Yeah, I am just not escaping the rain today. Rain on the plateau's rare, too. And Brutus Kane's like, seriously, what the hell is rain? Am I really that directly in your line of sight, bud? Wait, where? Since when did you have those? I didn't. No, you got elemental weapons when you scaled up. Since when the fuck? Or wait, oh, I. Or I'm a fucking idiot confused by my own sparkles. We're going to ignore my brain fart because that was an embarrassing one and. Just skedaddle. Because the archer dropped a bundle of arrows. That's enough for me. And pick these up. I forgot I had the electricity equipped and I assumed that it was someone else when I noticed it. That's not a smart move on my part, but since when was I ever a smart person? I win these games by brute forcing them and doing weird shit. Hmm. 
One of these chests is ruby in it, I'm pretty sure. Or is it just amber? That's not as good as I thought, but hey, arrows! This challenge is definitely encouraging me for the thievery. Challenges that actually require uh, doing monster camps are a thing I'll probably do at some point, but for now. It'd be great if I could see anything to plan my route. But I think. Hmm. Trying to remember actually quite where that, um. Quite where the, um. Specific shirt thing I'm looking for on the way to the desert is, but I think it's at the base of a tower damn near. And there's only so many towers because there's only so many map segments. And the Grudo Towers, I kind of know where they are on the map already. It's an inconvenient time for rain. It's always an inconvenient time for rain. There's no such thing as a convenient time. Ooh. We've accidentally led into a warp point at least. At least we should be. There's never. Trines are never far from stables. Hmm. But. I don't yeah. see much. You got any location specific things that are useful? Nah. Not really. Because some of the, like, butterflies and, and shit that when he sells are actually worth it. Where is the nearby shrine? There's usually... Usually a sh nearby shrine to these, but I guess not. And it's too raining to cook. Okay, so that's Hyrule Tower way over there. Wait, is that the tour? Where am I? I got re Wait, that's a fucking call see I got really turned around in the rain here. Okay. Um I got really turned around in the rain. Want that um, but that's where that shrine is. I want that warp point. Huh. I completely misjudged the direction to the glowing tower in the rain. The lack of visibility. And, admittedly, the almost. Um. The lack of visibility and the almost last minute realization that I didn't want to book immediate. I did, uh, I did want to make sure to get the shrine thing. Okay, what type is this? This is an annoying one. I need to get better about just doing the easy shrines. Because there's 
so many. There's no point in doing annoying ones. And I need to learn how to avoid time sinks. So, I want to say, you know, there is a tower right there. It just got really obscured from my vision for a little bit there. And the distance fucked with me. I want a horse. A horse would be lovely. I know the cobbles on horseback aren't that rare around here. But they, at this point they will be silvers and out running the pack with the horse and living becomes the challenge. Hi churches. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Why aren't you dying? I know you're the largest size category, but still. Good sell, though. Good sell, indeed. Really? More? Blob, you know that? Ah, at least we got a little bit of downhill. Okay. Whatever. Fine. It's a silver with a light. Sometimes it's just kind of funny how the master mode scales. Really, buddy? You... Wait, that's a three shot. That's a line of box, yeah. I just want the tower so that I can see where the fuck I'm going. Fun ruin. Is Korok? Yes, it is. Okay. Where are the horses see? I know! I randomly flung myself into the middle of nowhere. Come on! This is some extra middle of nowhere, nowhere. Okay. Tower and distance is a little bit of a waypoint, at least. Oh, it's, it's this over here. I don't know what this is. Still have yet to get to an area where anything's holding good weapons. I've done enough stuff the enemies are leveling up. It's the weapons, not so much. Yes, I know the shield's getting worn out from all this, but I need the speed. Wet grass plus shields of mine die is almost as fast as a horse. Ooh, wait. Oh! Oh, these are the stage rooms. This is where I would get, um... Midna's helm if that wasn't Cursed Dark Magic, though. Is restricted by the challenge. Because I, I imagine if I can't touch iron, I also uh, can't touch the freaking fused shadow. I think I'm remembering the name right, and I'm kind of disappointed in myself for forgetting. Okay. 
Please don't tell me I have to use that bridge. So I'm trying to go up river, I think. Where's it's just enough rain to obscure the landmarks in the distance I would use to white bind. Yeah, I'm just gonna cross the river town here. Closer to the castle than I thought it'd be at this point, too. Hmm. Hmm. I think most of this monster camp should be asleep. And it's mostly just gonna be making sure the sentry doesn't spot me on the way in. Or he ties before he can raise the alarm. Either way, it's equally good. Okay. My bow's about to explode, I see. Ooh, he has good weapons to steal, though. I want those. The rain is upping my stealth a little. Yes, I want that club. Yes. I shall just be a thief. The Korok wants me to scale this? Sure. That gives me a reason to climb this to get all the way up where I want to be anyway. I was gonna take the not sheer cliff path. But if I get a Korok out of the, sh the shortcut, sure. Oh wait, why am I not wearing this? I should be wearing this. Because this makes me just a little faster doing this, even though I do have to deliberately zigzag. Okay. I really need to find a cooking pot because I'm about to eat my last stamina food. This one that. What recipe was that off the part? I must have critical. Okay. But this hood makes fa sideways climbing faster, even so. Look at this. Oh, look, a rainbow. How nice. Oh, nice. It started to rain again. Bullshit. So where most are supposed to show up when the rain stops, not when it starts back up. What kind of BS? Some good? Nope. Some good? Kind of. Want sparkles, though. For the money. That didn't even work. Fine. Get out of that one that way. Now I do... I, won't... I don't think I'll be, I'm gonna be able to go to Hetsu for a while, but I'm not gonna have fun. With the rate of actually finding usable weapons, I don't think inventory slots are actually going to be that much of an issue. Hmm. Just gotta get to get the tower, 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 and yeah, maximum stealth for now. 
guys. They might not notice me over there on barricades if I'm careful. If the moblin can block the cobblin from seeing me, even. Nope, nope, nope. And I don't want that frenic equipped. That'll actually get me hurt. They all have bombs. They all have bombs. Oh, I couldn't touch the Korok on the way. Hey, you know what? This got me to the other side of the river where I need to be, I think. I think. Yeah, visible difference. It's got to get over to a flat spot to stand and recover. Uh, okay. I know I'm getting close to that tower, it's just... Keep ending up in places with terrible vantage points. How did I get this close to the castle? Oh. Wait. Where's the tower associated with the event? Because that's not... It's Gerudo Tower. Oh. Guess it depends on that. One, but that one's swarming with electric things. Guess that is what I was headed to all this time. The uh, Breach of Demise is not necessarily a safe fucking place, though. And yes, that that is what this uh, canyon is called. Woo! Give me your club? Nope. Fine. Why do I have a torch? Why do I have two torches? I don't need two torches. Die. Okay. Much better. Please don't blow me up, sirs. I am just trying to mind my own business. Ah! Fuck! I thought I was out of range of those. Well, that's the first time we die this stream. Um... I'll say was probably when I got up to the bridge. Um. Do you know what? This is fine. I'm not entirely convinced I'm actually equipped to get to the top of that tower. Because there's what is that AOE? Um, there's a lot of whiz robes around that tower. But we spent a lot of time headed toward this tower already. It'd probably be a little dumb to not follow through. Especially seeing as we haven't really run any warp points since. 
What if I want you to just take a bath? You know what? <sighs> That's not what I have to do. I want those arrows. But I kind of don't want to have to climb back up. It's a bit of a dilemma. Hmm. Nah, I don't want to have to climb back up. And these guys... Yeah. He's keeping active watch. Gotta skirt around a little if I don't want that one on the alarm. Uh, a few of these. I don't need that many. Ah, uh, that one sounded alarm. That's fine. Got that. This guy. Super dead. And. We'll be able to get up where no one can reach us pretty easily. Won't take them long to think that guy's full of shit. Usually. Ah. Uh. Well, they retreated back to their other spots, which means this guy can be easily... Ah! Or the silver could break my spine! That, that could happen too! I could get those arrows fast enough. Because I really do just kind of want the arrows. That guy. Oh. Okay. Good enough. Wait. He didn't drop arrows this time. What the fuck? I feel cheated. Oh, that silver's got a dragon bone. I need to steal that. Okay. First, I need to... Wait, that's a dragon bone, too. Yes. Okay. What I need to do... is be very careful. Um, gather stuff while dodging them, and then get to a point where they'll reset positions so that I can use a shock arrow to steal that really good club from that one guy. He has a dragon bone club. Also, we finally have a good bow. Dragon bone bows are as good as we're gonna get. Um, it's another reason we want the radiant set. But for now, we're just gonna leave that fourteen active. Oh, oh they're going to bed. Even better. The sentries are dead, and they're going to sleep. Which means... I... Oh, 
Mikey. If you just put it down. I don't even need to use an arrow. So there's only one hit left on that other one, so there's no point in carrying it anymore. <laughs> and actually, that's better than another torch. Yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't have gone to sleep. <laughs> I've just robbed them. Ooh. Yay, that gives that gives good defense up. I don't have a shield equipped at all right now? That's a mistake. He's shot, what, three? Four? He shot four arrows, that's enough. Okay. And all four of those arrows should be in the ground over here. Yes? No? No? Disappointing. I guess I wasn't looking at that part good enough or something. Doesn't always show. Ooh! Useful. Is this going to be an easy one or an annoying one? Is this one that is worth my time? Because I'm trying to get better at noticing and cutting my losses when a shrine isn't. Hmm. Ah. But I kind of feel like getting to Gerudo, and we can probably make a bit of, um, if spirit orbs become needed, going and doing a bunch of shrines all at once is totally a thing that can happen. Hmm. That's just enough of a ridge here to get up. <sighs> just wanna glide because it's faster than walking for a chunk there even. Yeah. It's not that far from anywhere we need to be, but Away, you stupid skeletons. Oh, I suppose we can always suggest say more teeth for our teeth collection because for some reason merchants buy them. Uh, there's a fork in the road, and I don't want to take the wrong fork. Which way have I been going? This seems good enough. Oh! A guy with a horse. That's definitely a direction that leads probably towards the stable. Huh. <sighs> Probably should have just booked it to the highlands and got the tower up there, but I didn't realize which direction was closer until it's too late, and we've we've already ended up in a 
fairly close spot, so we may as well continue. Oh yeah, we're up to the scablins already. Getting close, we getting close. And for the stealth armor is nice and all. I would much rather be walking around in high power armor instead. Like like high stab armor. Because there's just not that much protection in the stealth suit. But. Uh, oh. Stabber and Grito has some gold weapons. See, around him. Yeah, see, this is what I was worried about. There's. There's three wish robes here. This? Ain't gonna be easy. Ah, yes. Oh, that's a monster claw. Got two dragon balls to throw. Shit, I. No. I. This is not the first time I've had to say I have no choice. I can't do that tower right now. Um. Huh. That sucks. But I see no possible way I could actually um, safely clear that. There aren't any. Ooh. I, you know what? I can steal a couple good items though. Cause that's another dragon bone bow. Anyone else around this shore with good shit? Cause that other Mosulfos that had the shield and club, well, I think I might want to lure out too. Hmm? Yeah, you know. Let's drop a little bit of the stealth. Get a bit of the armor up, hey buddy. I have an empty shield slot right now anyway, and... Shit. Wasted one. Do 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 do! Got a shit durability, but... That's a pretty sturdy shield. That, that shield will be able to hold up to a decently big weapon without immediately shattering and ooh, looks like coming here might have actually led to having decent weapons after all oh that's another dragon bone one <laughs> I know I'm getting greedy but You know? No, there is no pot. I was getting greedy and I slipped up. There, there, there's nothing more to it than that. Oh well. Huh. I need to lure that shield out again. That's gonna be easy though. Don't want that equipped. Want this equipped. 
Yes, that guy, so I can have this equipped, and I also don't need that or that. How did you- how did you keep your grip on that? I was so rude. We should probably keep that around deliberately. He's healed almost entirely from that. Of course he has. I want to see what's in this chest, though. Ow. Okay, and he's swimming back out. Rupees. That guy still has the good bow. I still want the good bow. Uh, this is a good time to sit and eat that. Okay. Ah. Uh, I try for another good bow? Nah. I, I'm not gonna try to be that greedy. Hmm. Shit. It really does seem like looking at the highlands might be the best idea. Actually, wait. Do we just... Is that the one I kept losing? Shit, I, is that the one I kept losing track of constantly? God, it really is not hard to see in the rain. Ooh. I see here, though. An efficient path, at least. Uh, I definitely lost track of which of those towers I was actually headed for for a bit. Oh, someone's under attack. Are they still alive? Yes, they are. Okay. If I actually manage to, um... If I kill the Poco before the NPC... Any NPC goes unconscious, I do get prizes. Prizes sometimes suck. The monster extract sucks. It is the worst. Everybody else gets food. Uh, any sort of campsite would be useful. That's... This a room that actually has anything in it? Where is the everything? How have I managed to find the most possible backwoods pockets? Ooh. This is the navable shrine, though, probably. I do have a Frank, so I probably could solve this. But. 
Yeah, I don't need this. Take this one. Dead buckles, dead buckles. They just take that bath and drown. Oh, yeah, I just. Oh my god. This. That's. That's the Sage Temple. I was that close to a tower when I was at the Sage Temple? Well, I was. I was at that stump! Oh dear god! It was literally only not directly in my face because of the rain and I missed it? Well then! Oh, not sure how I feel about that. But, I as well get this Korok. Because inventory upgrades will start being import- will begin to be important very, very quickly once they happen. Oh, for the love of- God, just stop! Huh! And it's going to rain again. Of course it is. But, but what, what even is this rain matter? Come on. And so before it rains, let's get to the tower. The tower, which is upsettingly close to where we already were. I mean, like, full on. This unnecessary loop that we did. <laughs> oh, wow. That's absolutely fine. It means... It means we'll get like a half hour less progress in the stream toward actually fighting the forest, but... Dab. Safe ones on the hills. Ah, oh, guardians, lovely. But these are decayed guardians, which means a single parry does kill them. I just have to, you know, do it right. Come on. Okay. Nope. I did not do it right. Last second shield time sucks. I wish I still had fairies. Probably could get more.
the easiest way. Because these guys have a hell of a lot of health. Unless you deflect the light. Unless you deflect it back. That is just no big deal. I have 17 arrows. If I want to climb this tower, I gotta get there. There we go. That's one of them. Now I need to... Now there are multiple, and if I want to get up the tower safely, I should probably get more of them. Yes, I'm going to need to. But... Save here. Get both the stationary ones. Nope. I pressed too early on that one. But you can, I need to be able to climb safely, so I gotta get it. Zap these zap zapped. I zapped one of them back, though. There we go. Got my time. Okay. That gives me the ability to climb this mostly safely and carefully. There is a fully intact stalker crawling around over there, so gotta be careful as hell. I don't even see him just over there. Gotta be careful which side of the tower I climb, because that one takes three consecutive parries to kill. Either that or I just need to use my guardian weapons and like actually I could tear that axe into a side, but probably use the entire thing and I kinda of wanna use the hunter light. The extra chunk of stamina worked me good though. Useful already. Do not start raining, please. That would be the worst time. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Okay, right. Fun game. I need to get a sledge. I'm out of stamina food. Just need to get a sledge. <laughs> Auto saving me as I get to the sledge. It's raining. Okay. This is... Is this just sheltered enough by the hood of the... Oh, it is! The overhang of the tower is making it so I don't slip. Oh, that's so nice! Long gone last though. I don't think it'll let it'll help on this X very top part, but I'm so close to the top. And the climbing hood wouldn't actually help on this, unfortunately. Just enough. Because it's only if you go even a little bit sideways, and I wouldn't have been able to make that if I was zigzagging. Because of the threat of rain. The good thing about these towers is you only ever have to climb them once. And then the teleportation is just that. Give me the map, please. Because I'm trying to remember where things are in relation to each other and I just. For some reason, I 
agreed to not looking anything up. This doesn't even help me. It's this region that I'm confused about. I just need to... I just need to tower hunt for a while so I'm not lost. And the horse god spring should be be in that same region that because there's this fairy spring like here-ish too No idea how that had in relation to anything. Free fall and constant Probably makes more it makes more sense to cross the bridge than go around. Which leads to skirting around. You know what? I'm going to glide from this spot. Warps are useful. The screen loads fast. And I spent enough time getting lost that my goal for this stream is now just activating that. Is now just the tower, the lobster shirt, and the horse god spring, and, um, past that? Um, I, I don't think they'll have time. It's a shame, because I was hoping to get at least halfway to Gerudo this stream, but... I got real lost there for a bit. Mm. I could try to blame my reliance on four landmarks, but that wouldn't entirely be fair. Be free, you didn't pick you up on purpose. Not allowed to. Okay, big camp here, big camp here, lots of keys. Okay. I just want to to get your arrows before all the big guys come down. And I use... Why didn't you drop any? Scouts up, there, uh, up on the towers are supposed to always drop. But they've... It's not the first time this failed. Oh, it's Farouche again. Hi, Farouche. I'm pretty sure there's core rock on top of this, but I can't be bothered to climb it. Got him. And oh, he's got arms. Ow. Oh, I'm almost out of food. That's not a thing I should have let happen. I 
need to find a cook pot fast. <laughs> I don't want to have to eat those, but... You just dump them in the lake? And we're gonna lose the hearts falling in the water? But that's fine! Unfortunately, we did not get the bomb arrows from him in the process of that, but... Yeah, good enough. Actually, there's probably food in these. That's right. Roche gonna come close enough to get another scale from? That would be so nice. I do get a scale. Yay! It just lands over there. Ah! This platform's flying away! Ah! <laughs> I didn't realize that Frosh couldn't move the Octorox that much. They're ascending with him! <laughs> speed there too <laughs> it's hard to make those off rock platforms go that fast I, I got broke up in the air at like the perfect time for that is great ah Mm -hmm. Ah, stupid skellies. Come on, just die, just die. Okay. Skellies exterminated. And I may as well refresh that bow. Should probably start just using that by default. Grimmang's good. And we encountered Frosh in the middle of the bridge and went to the wrong end of the bridge after catching all those gusts of wind because, of course, we did. I was too busy laughing at the Octorox getting blown away by Dragonwind. Holy shit, have they really not noticed? Oh, there we go. I took a sec. I took a hot sec. Fishing harpoon. Okay. Die, please. Wanted to use the durians for real food, but the fact they heal three makes it hard not to just do this. Ah. 
headshot. Okay, cool. Archer gone. Die. Come on, give up on breathing already. You really don't need to. It's kind of overrated anyway. Success there, at least. Wait. Broach is back already? That was fast. Wait. It's still the same day-night cycle. Someone messed up because I died. You're only supposed to be able to encounter him once per day-night cycle. See, no, I didn't even die. It just got shuffled. Oh, things are just resetting weird, cause yeah, that's that's one of the stupid Xenoblade armors. Really? Just on another scale. There we go. You know what? We'll run past the weird star, sure. Because two scales means temperature elixirs are gonna be really easy. I love how the uh, dragon music does actually. Like, it is actually the same track as the old Skyward Sword ones, which is, well, it's a, it, it's a, it's a kind of a remastered, fancy up version of the song, but still. This is weird DLC bullshit. And I'm not even going to be opening it because it's not anything I can use. That said, the compendium can have that as my treasure chest picture, definitely. Okay, and we have. We have dragon scales. We might not have gotten the intended location progress, but we have dragon scales. This is a heavily guarded hill, so I need to be careful. But we should be able to just skip over most of them by skirting the tips of the rough terrain. Lots, lots of things chasing me, but as long as I can go undetected for a significant amount of time, I, I need that spear though. Or not. Oh wait, that's a Boko thing. Yeah, that's a Boko arm. Don't need that. Any type of weapon whatsoever is just that big of a boom. Um, those guys don't have bows, though. As, as long as nothing with a bow sees me get to the face of the tower where they can follow me. Where they can actually hit me, that's fine. Hmm. Okay. Uh, this, this is the tower I had originally intended to go to. Three towers later, I'm at the right one. Uh, 
I never claimed to have a good sense of direction, though. I'm decently good at learning landmarks, but when they're obscured from my sight, I do just can't go in circles. <sighs> in this game, at least. Yeah, we've gotta gotta try to get that fairy. Gotta try to get that fairy now. Should be visible and markable as a quest point on the map now, though. Yeah, yeah, it is. Cause we need to be going over. This way. Because this is a fairy. But this lake is the shirt we wanted. And it's not too far off from this direction where the good horse and shit is. But we want. Blue beacon is. We want to go south, which is. Hmm? Yes. Here. And there are. There are. Uh, obviously more direct hints elsewhere that I'm skipping more. To tell you where these things are, but like... I didn't feel like going to stay village to have those quest logs actually active. Could you not? Critically low on arrows again. Hmm. I do need to just buy some soon, but the horse god's gonna need a bunch of rupees first. And chests. Come on, where are ya? There it is. Hi, Mr. Zolfos. You garden the treasure. <laughs> the problem with arrows is they're so conserving arrows is that. It's so useful to shoot things, it's hard to just restrain myself at all. Like, I probably benefit from just using different tactics and conserving the arrows, but like, nah. There's some vicious ass rabbits here, but... We just want... That shirt. Because this is the equivalent for the warm to play, but for the heat. Our lovely island lobster shirt. Good, good, good indeed. Dressed like other versions of Link and not actually like. Ourselves. Okay, got that. Now. Actually. Now that I have the map, the horse god's gonna be easiest to glide to from this tower. Hmm. 
And that way, we can at least, uh, fill out a goal. I would like, I, uh, want to get either a fairy fountain or a divine beast during every stream of the series if possible. Because, frankly, I only intend to tap, like, half a dozen of these, and these are already be- Yeah, this is already- Making clear that I underestimated how, um, long the series would be. Which, like, not a bad thing. But... I still intended it to be a fairly short one, I want to keep it a fairly short one still. Also, still not entirely sure, um... I don't actually know what, huh, if, um... This one's actually gonna be- this series is gonna be going up on the YouTube channel or not. Because the YouTube channel's getting the Skyward Sword series, and... Oh my, um... When I do playthroughs of other Zelda games, which I am going to do, it's just college applications kicking my ass or preventing me from starting uh, too many things at once. But I do want a Minish Cat playthrough to start fairly soon on this channel. And that will go up on the YouTube channel, just like Skyward Swords going up. And hopefully even faster, because I made the channel. The YouTube channel is kind of a, uh, oh uh, yes, first series on the Twitch channel, and to start throwing them up on the VOD channel as quick as I can edit them, basically. And I should have the, the YouTube channel basically caught up to the Twitch channel so that if it's not on one, it's on the other. For all the ser for all the, uh, actual Let's Plays... It might depend on the challenge run, which challenge runs even go up, I'm not sure. Also, it just depends how long things end up actually running for and stuff. Because... I end up with a disproportionate amount of content, and I don't feel like it was interesting or something as well. So, yeah. Not all challenge runs make for good VODs, so let's play is let's play, but eh. Not, not all challenge runs make good mods. That, that, that's fine. I wish I had more Octo Blooms. I thought I'd been killing more Octorox than this, but I guess not. I have. Um, these sort of challenges do actually make most, would make more sense as actually edited videos, but like, I don't actually know how to do that. And I'm not, not sure if it's even, if I would, uh, I'm not sure if that's actually the direction I want to go with these things or not. Is that, is that it? Yes. We're here. And... Here at the Lake of the Horse Gods, which is full of butterflies, so I should probably try to catch those. Winter wings. Those make cool elixirs to mix with the dragon scales. Okay. Don't want that. We release frogs. And before we open the fountain, we need to grab our alternate horse armor that will teleport a horse to us 
That means we actually have usable horse armor and can actually have a horse. And if I'm being honest, there was no way I was ever really going to bother registering a horse before I got this anyway. Because if I can't whistle teleport it to me, uh, it's kind of useless because I'll have it for five minutes and never use it again. Melania. Note the, that this hand is detached. This is not a standard great fairy. This is the great fairy of horses. I don't have enough rupees. Shit. Well, you know what this means? There's a stable, like, here. So, we're just gonna, um, loop around to the stable, sell a bunch of shit, and head right back. Hell, we might even grab a horse, because there are actually a lot of horses over there. But first, we need to make sure that guy doesn't bother us. The chances of this being usable are low, because most of our usable weapons are monster weapons, and those don't go in chests. Oh, that's beautiful! It makes me so sad I can't see that! I can't use that! Oh! I'm- I'm screenshotting that! It makes me sad. I have to leave that behind. That's a... That's a beautiful weapon. Oh. I, I almost wish I hadn't looked. But at the same time, I'm glad I did because I... I'm glad I saw that. I'm pretty. But like... Jeez. Demon Carver is that strong and I can't even use it. Okay. There's the stable. And there are some horses that'll help me get back to the horse god even faster. Ah. Uh, Missed landing on that warp point, but fine. Okay. Yes. Oh! You know what? Sure. Trade my defense up beetle for, uh, just defense up food. That's actually a tier of food I can use right now. Well, Beetle, I want to give you, honestly, let's get rid of these, um, useless clothes that were in the shrine, so they're not clogging up the inventory. We can't get rid of that, it's too valuable. What the... Um... Ah. We'll probably need a ton of these for the next fairy we get, but the horse fairy doesn't upgrade armor, it just does horse things, so... You know what? I'll sell three of these. I'll be able to buy arrows after all this shit, that's for sure, at least. Don't want to be entirely out of any of these monster parts because they are useful for potions, but... Don't actually have any fire choo choo jelly, so I'm not gonna sell any regulars. 700 left over, it's okay. Eh. Yeah, we're some amber. And with that, 
I'll take some. Oh! Fireflies! You know, we do actually need fireflies. Now, to get a. Lorraine stopped while I was talking to Beetle, so let's activate that warp point real quick and grab ourselves a horse now that we actually can as well. I'm not even gonna bother going in, but. And actually, there are regular horses over there, but I would much rather steal from the Bocos, if possible, because those are pretty tamed. I like, and they're just all tamed already and I can try them all real quick and see if any of them are good. Paper button number one sucks, paper button number two sucks, they always do with that pattern. This one's got good swatches, maybe. Hmm. Turns better, only two spurs. Still, what about this one? That's the lot. Only two spurs, though. Might be better to try one of the ones with the three. Hmm. Hmm. We're gonna go for the blue one. Let's see if it's good or not. Because if we are going to make a teleportable horse, we're going to have it for a while. Four? Oh, and that handles like a... Oh, that, and that handles like a dream. Oh, I like this horse. I made a good choice. Blue horse, blue horse, blue horse. Yes! We got a bloopy horse. We got a bloopy horse and it's perfect. Oh, they actually respawn back on their horses because they're all just, they're just frigid and nothing really else. Yes. The horse is currently fighting us really bad. Um, there's a way to fix this though. There's the horse bond that it has with you. And I don't, I have. No, it's not carrots. Let's feed some apples to help with that. Speed that up. I think it's like 10 to max it out. Oh. Random carrot on the ground. Do. This is almost broken. I do not need. I do not need to have something almost broken like that as my main equip. Um, okay, and now I do know about. I don't need a tutorial. Just register this horse. Oh, that's a hell of a bond. Uh, that's how stats. Bond's close already. 60 out of. Okay, 20 B. This is a blue horse. Us. Uh, I'm as sure as I can be. I'm spell. I'm as sure as I can be. I'm spelling that correctly. Uh, 
but we need to immediately change the saddle because these stirrups burn and so do all the buckles underneath the legs holding the saddle on. Oh, right. She won't, um... She won't give. She won't change the saddle and shit unless the ba the bombs is maxed out. So eat these, please. Now. Yes. Is this enough, or do I need to run in a circle for a bit? Okay, so what is... I already have this horse house. 95 out of 100! Literally? Next time it cues for me to soothe it, it's fine? I need to get the saddle changed, because the saddle is not is a only temporary use thing. Come on, stupid horse, start pulling in a weird direction so that I can soothe you. Because I ran out of apples. I just, uh, I just didn't have enough apples. This is so stupid. There we go. I think that did it. This is actually a really good horse, though, so... I'm chill with this. It's just... Is... Was that enough? No! 98! Really? One more... Well, that was a little bit of it, actually. Did that do it? I'm going to assume that. I'm going to think that might have done it. Did that do it? Yes, Max Bond. Okay, now I can. Now she'll let me change the saddle. Because. This is not a usable saddle. Yes, please change it, please. Aww. Also, just, I need the teleportation saddle so that this horse isn't just basically sitting in a box forever. Yes. I mean, because I don't touch the horse's head, the, all the metal pits all over that stable bridle are fine. Though I probably will use the ancient um, horse bridle if I go up into story mount. Do we want to change the mane? Do we want to give short mane for Bloopy? Because I don't like the long mane because it clips weird, but. To the horse god! Ooh, I didn't know- I didn't fully notice this one's not full straight blue, it's kinda got socks. Nice! Hmm. I'll make you go around the loop a little actually get to the fountain, but... We can actually travel efficiently. And 
Yes. Gotta wake up Melania. And... Honestly, with how the stream has been going, and having waking up Melania be the... Don't need these pins here anymore. Having waking up Melania be the end of the stream probably makes sense. That's just our end of stream. As that'll be where we finish it off, basically. And the horse can walk across the bridge, but I want to use the teleportation for the first time deliberately. Just to do it. The horse is now tied to the network. I'm g I can just have it sent over at any time. Actually, you know what? Bloopy can stand real close. This, this is this is the this is the horse. To take. Yes. M yes. Thousand rupees and we can say three out of five on that goal in the corner. Spooky. Freeze a tiny bud for so long. If my arms were corporeal, they have cramped for sure. Going to. is going to threaten to eat me a bunch and stuff as well. I absolutely love the theme for the spring though, because it's just. it's the great fairy theme and the Pona song mashed up together, and it's so good. Melania revives horses for a fee. Endure carrots, usually. Is also quite spooky. I fucking love this track. And this horse is accidentally OP. And thematic. The blue horses are my favorite in... Anyway, simply because blue horses don't exist. So I blue fur isn't a thing, so I like my blue horses. But I think with that we are actually basically done for the day. <laughs> 